In this video, we'll look at whether MgSO4 is acetic, basic, or neutral in water. So this is magnesium sulfate. To do that, we need to look at the reaction, the neutralization reaction that created the magnesium sulfate. We have here sulfuric acid, H2SO4, and then magnesium hydroxide, MgOH2. We mix these together, they react, they produce magnesium sulfate, our salt, and then water. This is a neutralization reaction. So we know the reaction. Now we need to figure the strength of the acid and the base out. We can use this table down here to help us. So looking at our table, we're looking down our strong acids and here's sulfuric acid, H2SO4, SA, we'll write that up there. Magnesium hydroxide, it's not on our list of strong bases or weak bases. Magnesium hydroxide's kind of a tricky one. It really isn't very soluble, so not much of it will dissolve in water. But what does dissolve, it dissociates completely. It breaks apart completely into its ions. And for that reason, we call this a strong base. So I'm going to write SB up here. Some people might say it's a weak base, but for our purposes, we're going to say it's a strong base. So we have the strength of our acid and our base. Now we can use the rules. So we're looking for a strong acid and a strong base. Here's a strong base and a strong acid. So, th so that works. We have a strong acid and a strong base. When these two things react in a neutralization reaction, the pH, according to our rules, should be neutral at 7. So to answer our question, magnesium sulfate, that's neutral when it dissolves in water. If there really was a big question whether this is strong or weak, we could actually do an experiment in the lab and test the pH of the solution. I think when you do that, you'd find that it would be very close to neutral. This is Dr. V, and thanks for watching.